Good morning all. So in this problem we have to construct a rectangular uh, pyramid of dimension 35 and height 65 and it is resting on HP with a side of base perpendicular to VP. And the pyramid is cut by a section plane which is perpendicular to VP and inclined at 30 degree to HP. The cutting plane meet the axis of the pyramid at a point 30 mm below the vertex. From the top, from the vertex, we have to consider a 30 mm height and we have to draw an angle line for 30 degree here. Okay, draw the development of the remaining part of the pyramid. So, you can see in this uh, problem, the pyramid is resting with the base edge uh, perpendicular to xy. So, that's why it is placed like this. So, we have to construct the uh, pyramid first, pentagon of dimension 35, and then the slant edges, and then the front wheel. So first we are constructing an XY line here, okay. So we can construct the XY line by using thickness 0 0.25 and 0 0.13. So there is no problem here in this problem I am using 0 0.25 mm thickness and write XY, HP, VP because we are using an first quadrant here. Okay, so here pentagon of dimension 35 we have to construct. So for this uh, we have to go to the polygon by center command. So go to polygon by center and select five sides. So rest with respect to the base heads perpendicular to VP and then select any one edge and change the dimension to 35. So it will get changed. Then after that go to line and <coughs> draw five perpendicular bisectors okay first we have to draw the five perpendicular bisector how to draw from corner point to the exactly opposite middle point you have to draw the straight lines here here the the inside lines should be thick lines in the case of uh, prism it is thin lines okay so for these pyramids we have to draw the thick line because these are the slant edges then we have to remain retain only the lines which were coming from the um, end points so that makes the slant edges okay the top view of the pyramid so we will be writing the namings you can write it a b c d e however it is given in the question so we can write it in the same way o o one okay so draw the front view of it so by projecting the lines okay by projecting the lines that is projection lines here so you can draw the front view of it. So draw the straight lines. So you can zoom in and uh, you can do it. Okay. Sometimes you are not able to do it. You just have to zoom it, zoom it properly, and then draw the projection lines. Okay. Okay. The here the height we have to consider 65 mm okay 65 mm height so draw 65 type 65 enter okay here the front view of the pyramid it is a triangle triangular face we get it here join it and uh, you can show the dimension here can make that uh, <coughs> axis line show the dimension okay now you can see here uh, there is a section plane and it is at a height of 30 mm from the vertex that means from that o dash point i have to draw a vertical line 30 mm uh, below of it and then i have to consider a section plane there okay so go to line and uh, take axis line only so from that end point, I will be drawing vertically downward 30 mm, enter and click and here I will give the angle. So here, so what is the angle we have to give? We have to give an angle of 30 degree, 30 degree to the HP plane here. You can see that 30 degree to HP, not to the axis. Okay, These things are very important. Inclination to axis or HP, we have to consider uh, clearly. Otherwise, the problem will become wrong here. Okay. So go to extend to next and extend it. Okay, now we can show the angle. So here the angle angle shown it is for the HP plane. Okay, angle shown it here it is for the HP plane. Okay, you can see that. So that is correct. 
can show the angle okay <coughs> you can see here we have to mention the you can uh, use the uh, split command okay use the split command so that we can able to exactly split it because we have to dark that uh, lower part and we have to make that upper part uh, above that sectional plane a thin line okay so that's why we have to use the split command here to make uh, like that so select the lines and make upper part as a thin line select those and make it 0 0.13 okay now we can uh, give the naming here for these cut points okay you can give one one here and uh, number two you can cut it you can see here uh, now we can give the naming as it is there in the solution book okay uh, we try to do it as it is there in the solution book okay so that will be better those things i'm going to delete it and then again to again i'm going to rewrite it so so it will be easy and convenient so that we can follow the solution book so you will not get confused here Okay, now we can give the naming for that section cut plane one it is cutting there and two it is cutting on the slant edge bo and three it is cutting on the slant edge co okay and the point number four it is cutting on the slant edge do here there is no vertical edge here it is a slant edges and five it is cutting on a five now vertical edge evo okay now you can see here uh, we have to find out the true length the true length it is here so co is the parallel line so you can consider that co dash length as a straight line here so from these two points okay distance between using two points i am measuring this true length here because it is uh, pyramids we know that it is done by using radial line method okay radial line method so now you can uh, project these lines that is from one and from 2 to 4 just project the straight lines so that we get the points on this slant edge okay true length on the true length we have to get these points okay because we have to consider the true length here that's what the radial line method okay so here we have to mention 1 5 this is 2 and 4 okay now we are getting all the points on this same uh, straight line now we have to measure it okay we have to measure this line so that it will be easy using distance between command by using two points you have to do it select properly again you have to say go to there okay same way again you have to go select because it will be selected only one time so that means you need to re, re, re again you have to select it now all the uh, lens we are getting it now i'll be drawing a vertical line for a true line that is 71.49 and then i will be cutting the arc okay vertical line i'm drawing for 71.49 okay after this i'll go to arc by center command so go to arc by center command select this uh, line length and draw an arc okay draw an arc we can select this whole thing and we can take it a little lower so that the sweep can be increased okay sweep can be increased here so here uh, pen, uh, pentagon pyramid having base here is 35 mm that is we should cut five arcs here because it is having five uh, edges okay it is having five base edges so five arcs for a length of 35 we can cut it from that reference point you can take that uh, uh, exact point by zooming in okay zoom in and you can select the exact point 
and give the radius 35 and cut the sweep okay that's how you have to do it the same way from there also you can mention give the sweep 35 and enter okay you can extend it now we can join it using straight line you can see that we have to draw the slant edges here okay slant edges you can zoom in and connect it properly zoom in and connect zoom it properly so that you can get the exact points here okay can give that as O and that is capital A capital B capital C capital D capital E and capital F capital E only okay A B C D E A okay now we have to measure these lengths and we have to cut the arc with respect to point number one point number two like that so point number one having a distance again go to arc by center and point number one having a distance of 41.98 so give the radius enter and cut the arc the same way we have to do it on the another vertical edge a here the same length that is 41.98 cut the arc okay give one and one here now the second arc we have to cut it for a length of 30.5 here go to arc by center okay on the vertical edge here give the radius 30.5 enter and cut the arc and the, on, on E also we have to cut the same length 30.5 because 2 and 4 having the same length ok 30.5 now on the point D and the point D we having a point number 4 Sorry, on a point uh, D, we having a okay here uh, one. I can change it to five. Okay, no problem. You can see that uh, point number two and four having same length, and point number three having twenty six point one. Okay, now we can join it using a straight line with a thick line here from point number one. You can see here. You can join zoom in and try to connect okay zoom in and try to connect zoom and try to connect these things okay okay in the lower part also you have to draw the base edges you can see that from a to b and uh, so in the upper part I am going to make it thin because the lower part only we have to make it thick ok so for that I will make that as a thin line here ok now the base edges we have to construct that is A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E Okay, we have to join it with the straight line here from A to B, then B to C. Okay, here I have done mistake. So I have not joined properly to the vertical edge C here. I will select and delete it, and I, and I am going to construct it again here. Okay, there is no problem. Join it properly. Zoom in and connect. Yes, this is where we have to join okay mm, connect it so you can subscribe for the channel and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited from this uh, youtube channel and hit on the like button and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications okay so with respect to the vtu syllabus i have made these videos I think the exams are near, so you can share it to the maximum students 
so that they can be benefited most of the colleges uh, this development of lateral surfaces they are doing for the first time so it will be easy for you so that you can make use of these videos thank you for watching the videos and and give the suggestions how we can improve upon the video quality understanding and all thank you all thank you for the video you can see we have to show the dimensions for it here the slanted length we have to show and the base length 35 you have to show it okay but in the problem you can see